lots of control. Good. Screaming and hollering. Yes. And most importantly, passion. Right. All right. Yeah. For day six of Toy Week, I'm going to be covering how to do lip syncing. Um, if you expect to walk away from this being an expert on lip syncing, I am going to say you'll be severely disappointed. Um, lip syncing is something I think that takes more experience in playing around with. Uh, than it is just being shown how to do it. The best I can do is kind of show you my methods for it and um, kind of give you some tips that I've learned to make it a little easier. But beyond that, it's going to kind of be up to you to actually play around with it. Um, so first, some of the things you want to do, um, if you've already animated a scene, it's best to load up on a model that's stationary to use, uh, as in these ones, they're not actually moving. Um, trying to chase around a model that you already have animated to try to make the lip syncing work is not going to work, or attaching a camera to a head, better to just stick with uh, a model that's stationary. You can always just grab all the mouth fluxes afterwards um, and copy them and actually just paste them back out of the model anyway. Um, second thing, and this may sound weird, is to give a little bit of pucker on the mouse. This is an old lip sync I did, so that, uh, I've learned a lot since then. But uh, is I usually put the pucker up probably about one third. That may sound strange, but the reason I do it is because when you're when uh, when your mouth's talking, there's certain words that your lips are going to pull back on. And if you, as an example here, um, if you use stretch instead to when the lips go to pull back, um, the mouth starts to look a little bit weird um and that's may not be a look that you're going for for it i prefer instead to have the pucker up a little bit it doesn't really change the way the mouth looks uh that much but then by just decreasing the pucker you're getting the lips to pull back without giving that creepy uh big giant mouth look um the uh the other tips here i'm going to just kind of cover a couple of mixes of the the controls here for certain sounds that do come in handy uh one of the big ones is actually using my jaw open and close in combination together so it doesn't actually have them cancel out uh, instead they uh, it causes the lower jaw to pull in and I'll show you that right here so if I put the jaw open and then jaw close you like to see that the that uh, that lower lips pulling back that can actually come can handy for a little bit for the ease because of the uh, the the teeth showing but the biggest ones are going to be your B's P's M and R it's going to be the, the ones that really pull the lips together and put them towards your mouth um, so like here um, if we wanted to try to make this kind of look like uh, say a B um, I'll, I'm going to decrease the mouth close here we'll say put a little, little bit of lip bite and a little bit of lip out so we can put that up and maybe close a little bit more. Um, this going to get you, it, it may look a little bit like the letter doesn't fit right now, but when it's moving fast, this is going to give a much better B than just closing the mouth. Because uh, if you just go and put the mouth um, to to its base closed position, um, it's just going to look like they stop talking. Um, not so much that they uh, uh, that they have have actually said a B. You're an M. Uh, so play around with using jaw open and close together. Uh, it's not something I, uh, I even thought about until I accidentally started hitting the buttons and figured that out. Um, one of the other ones is when you're doing O's, and here I'll show a uh, mouth O. If you were to increase O all the way, you, you get a little bit of a weird look here. Um, the cheeks are really stretching and obviously that <laughs> I don't know what that is but that's not what you're gonna be want to go for same goes for O2 um, that looks like she ate a lemon that's not a sound that you don't want and that stretching of the models is really not that great um, what you can do instead uh, is increase the pucker here to a good majority and then use just a little bit of the O's in doing so say with a little bit of open you're getting a, a much better O look without uh, stretching the model without it looking unnatural and if we wanted to do it uh, instead of uh, O2 let's do just regular O yeah and that looks uh, a little more natural yeah, let's put the pucker up all the way um, or not. <laughs> so, uh, again, you said to kind of play around with this, but that's going to give you a much better look uh, than if you were uh, just trying to play around and having that say, oh, 
that that's not going to look that great. Um, the last little tip for some of the letters is going to be with your L's and your N's. Those are going to be the two that are going to have the, the, the tongue go fully up. Um, so I'm going to open up the mouth a little bit here. And the two that I really brought are tongue out and tongue up. Tongue out, if you put it to just about where the tongue is underneath the teeth and then tongue up, that's where you're going to probably get your best... Uh, your best L's and your best N's. Uh, if you actually just use tongue out uh, when you're doing an A and some of the other letters like that, um, it does help pronunciate the letters a little bit to make them look a little bit more realistic. Um, that's really the only ones for tips for the mixing of the, some of the stuff here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually just go and um, animate this portion right here. You're going to cheer for me like that? Uh, but it might take, I don't know how long it's going to take, so I'm going to probably speed it up in the final. I'm going to keep the recording to where you can uh, can watch it uh, in regular time, though. Um, but I uh, do lip syncing in three steps. Uh, the first step, I go through and I just pick out every single individual sound and letter that the mouth might make. And I just create that sound at that point. It may look a little bit uh, sketchy at the final. But then afterwards, I go back and do a refinement. So that is cleaned up, so that uh, everything's a little smoother. Mainly the pucker, because that, that can uh, jump around a little bit. And then uh, at the very end, I do some lip detail in the nose. So as of right now, I'm going to do some of the, the the syllable portions, and then uh, I'll be back to do the uh, do the actual refinements afterwards. <laughs> Okay, so this is uh, basically the the base is done. Um, so this is what it will look like here. You're gonna cheer for me like that? Now, the if you if you look because again I did this in motion editor, you might do it better in the graph editor. I just I don't know why I don't like the thing. So now um, you're gonna see there's a lot of valleys here, and the graph editor is gonna give you the same uh, where it's it's a zero up and then back to zero. Um, the biggest one is going to be some of your pucker here. You're going to cheer for me like that? You notice the mouth is going back and forth quite fast. That's probably no, not what you're going to be wanting to go for. Um, especially pucker, one of the things I'll do is I'll just go through here, and you can do this in the motion editor after you're done with the graph editor as well, um, and just smooth it out a bit. Um, it, it has this bad habit of making it uh, kind of jagged edges there, but you can, if you want to take the time to do it, you can smooth those out too. Um, let's see how this looks here. You're gonna cheer for me like that? Yeah, that's not gonna help me here. So um, I'm gonna smooth it, and then what you can do is go through some of these valleys here, and actually smooth those out. But that I, I, that's that takes a long time, so I'm not gonna You're go gonna and do that here. Like that? But for now, be, this actually could work like for uh, for what you might be wanting to go for. Um, let me see brown might do that a little better. And they'll still fix it. So, um, what you can do uh, afterwards, uh, once you get to this point, and you can do your refinements here, uh, trying to smooth out some of these uh, um, these the very harsh uh, changes here, especially down in like the O ranges here. Um, and this is, I think, going to be the one tip that if uh, if you're going to do to to really do. And there's these two here: lip bite and mouth pucker. What these two do is, and if you look at the, um, I'll do a blank plate right here. Lip bite will pull the bottom lip in, it'll pull the lips in, and lip mouth puckers do the opposite, push the lips out. This allows you to actually control the lip movement. Uh, I use those afterwards to do extra refinement, to add extra life to the lips. So, for example here, um, and when you're doing this, it's good to mouth it for yourself. It exaggerate it drastically with your own mouth how you would want to have some of those sounds made. Um, 
but feel how your lips would move here. So here, for your, your at the very beginning of it, the lips go out. So I'm just going to grab this little bit here, and I'm going to make the lips go out. And then it, for the ear, it's going to have it pull in. So I'm going to have the lip bite pull the lips in. And then here I'll have a little bit extended mouth going out. For the end, I want to have it pull back in. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing like this, but I want to show you just how much of a difference having the lips move like that is. You can, it, it, the life that it gives, just having that the, the lips pull back and forth, is a lot more realistic of movement. So you can see here, these parts don't have it. Um, and you, all you see is the bottom, uh, the bottom jaw move up and down not really ha it doesn't have any life to it it just looks like it's on a hinge moving back and forth but this part you're actually showing that there's actually like it's flesh like it's alive i'm trying to get out of here that's gonna annoying um it it is very subtle and when the mouth is moving faster you may not notice it in the final but it does add a lot of life to it and really it, the one single pass through is probably the the simplest thing you'll be able to do and it just adds a lot to it um uh and then for the nose here, um, if when you're speaking for your uh, speaking the words yourself, anything that really has your your lips pulled back. So here, um, like here, the lips pulled back. You, you can add a little bit of the nose wrinkle, and that'll give the nose a little bit of life too. Um, I usually try not to do it too much because you don't want to have the nose like for flapping all over the place. Um, but uh, again, those are just extra refinements to add a little bit of extra life to the movement here. Uh, lip syncing to me, how much time you want to put into it is is variable. If you want to put just a little bit in, just to get kind of the um, the the basic idea of the mouth movements down, um, sure that's fine. If you want to put some extra time into it, you can. Uh, don't think that these tools are limited and that you aren't able to make something that actually looks really close. If you put the time into it, you can get some, uh, the mouth movements to look very realistic. It's just that it takes a lot of extra time. Uh, I, I think one last last uh, lip sync thing I did took was 30 seconds and it took me uh, about five hours um, just for that because I put a lot of time into it to make it as detailed as possible and that's in the last tutorial with uh, Lyra talking that lip syncing took hours but I really love the way it turned out so um, so don't think that there's any wrong way to do this I'm just hoping that maybe showing some of these tips and how I do it uh, can can kind of help you out a little bit here um, otherwise, uh, that's going to be all for lip syncing. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to cover. It was going to be. I forget. Uh, uh, lighting. Uh, just kind of general lighting tips on how to make things look a little bit more realistic. So, um, if you have any other questions about lip syncing, um, you, you can ask me. But like I said, just just go in here, take an audio clip, and just start moving it around. Just start. Uh, uh, moving it. Maybe record your own mouth doing it and watch it. See how you talk. And um, I, that's helped me more than anything. So uh, otherwise, uh, look forward to the last one being tomorrow. And I'll, I'll be sure to make more plenty after that. But uh, be the end of the week. Always have fun.